To celebrate Monocle's 2015 Quality of Life survey, we hosted a midsummer party at our London headquarters. Diplomats, contributors and Monocle friends gathered at Midori House on a balmy June evening to enjoy an Aperol Spritz and some great jazz music in the company of Monocle's editors. The event provided an opportunity to honour this year's winners and to contemplate what makes cities most livable and most lovable. The exciting things about cities is that they are dynamic living organisms and the measures of what improves the way you live change yeah, season in and season out almost. We think benchmarking is important. So as much as we're probably looking at 50, 55 cities around the world, we narrow it down to about 35. And then there's the core 25 that, that actually make the cut. This year saw a new set of metrics that resulted in a big shift at the top. Berlin came in at number three, Vienna climbed four spots to second position, and Tokyo eased up one place to number one. Well, quality of life has a two meanings to me. One is functionality, but that's not enough. I think there's many kinds of fun, functionality and also charm. That is a very basic of the, the quality of life in Tokyo. Monaco used a broader set of criteria, including, for example, uh, the conditions uh, for startups. So I'm, I'm very pleased that the excellent conditions that Vienna has to offer for startups have been taken into account uh, in this uh, year's ranking. The Monocle Quality of Life Survey is not a beauty contest. Our annual rankings are rigorously researched to help keep municipal leaders and the private sector on their toes. It's not just down to government, it's also down to the private sector as well. Uh, I think we, we have to, to really you know, go back to some, some basic things. So I would say to, to property developers, you, know, you need to work very hard with cities to make sure that if people have just great outdoor space. I would then also say to government, can people make a little bit of noise? Uh, we have to remember that we, you know, we live in cities. Cities are about friction and clanging. That's what makes a city, that's why we love cities. And somehow we are stripping a lot of the real things that attract us to these places in the first place. So cities do need to be a little bit rough around the edges. They need texture and everyone's trying to give cities a Botox injection and that's not what they need. Um, in fact, we need to celebrate the lines and the character uh, and everything that, that goes with them rather than trying to, to make everything a little bit too smooth because I think a very good city is about the nooks, the winding lanes, the curves, the curiosity. We champion cities with good quality of life because, as cities become more and more competitive, urban innovation need not be limited to the urban environment. If I had to think about future leadership, uh, you know, where are we going to be in the next you know, decade, two decades, when it comes to refashioning whole nations, I want to look at the urban leaders from today. Monocle's 2015 Quality of Life survey features in the June-July issue on all good newsstands around the world.